Hello my fellow sparklers, welcome to my channel Wonderland Tea and Diamonds. Today I'm going to try a canvas repair and this is one I have an unboxing video on. Um, I ordered a few paintings from Dylan's cabin. They were all poured glue except for this one. And this one is double sided tape and it was in rough shape. Um, the double sided tape is gapping. I will pull off the cover again and show you. So, it didn't just get rivers. So, let's see. Yeah, you can see that river there. It got big gaps right, right here. Can you hear that? That's the tape not laying flat against this. And it's here too. So, what I'm going to attempt is to totally pull off this double-sided tape because it's just not even laying flat. I mean, it, it must not have been put down well or it was put down at the wrong time or this wasn't laying flat when it was put down. I mean, there's some sort of problem. Um, and I'll pull off the tape and I will use this Diamond Dots glue which is available at Joann's. It's only, I think, $3 a bottle. And at the time I got it, it was on sale. Three or four. I can't remember. Um, it's very simple instructions. It says it's suitable for wood, glass, metal, and fabrics. And your surfaces must be clean and dry, which makes sense. Um, and it says to, just to apply a thick coat. And then it says three millimeters, which is actually quite thick for our glue, with a brush or a spatula. So I might need to apply a few coats. And then start dot, dotting once adhesive dries clear and cover with protective film once adhesive dries clear. So I'm probably just going to put this back on um, since it's just the right size. And because it's um, a brush in, I'm not actually pouring it. Oh, I forgot they gave you tweezers. Um, I don't think I need to make a frame. So I'm just going to start trying to pull it up from this corner. And you can see it's coming up pretty easily. So that's also not a good sign. Alright. And underneath the canvas feels good. I'll probably wipe it down with a baby wipe or alcohol wipe just to remove any extra that might be going on. Um, the only problem is once it holds in on itself, it sticks really good to itself. So I do like Dylan's Cabin. If you didn't see my unboxing video, the pork blue ones are great. And it was just this, this one that was um, double-sided tape, which was out of character for their paintings. And, um, and yeah, and just done poorly. So I haven't written them. I feel I, I need to. I need to write to them just to tell them. I'm not trying to return it, obviously, because I'm going to repair it myself to see how it goes. But um, I just wanted to tell them because whoever they bought this from or whoever manufactured it, they need to either not deal with them or change their manufacturing processes. So, all right, <laughs> it is coming. It's just a bit of work because once you get a little bit up, it just comes in and sticks to itself, and you don't have this leverage. Once you get a good piece going, you get some good leverage. I can keep it from sticking to it, so. It's the battle of the century. Okay, I'm gonna, I've almost got halfway here. I'm gonna come up here and pull off one of these corners, which is rolling back easily. Woohoo! I just knocked the diamond glue across the room. <laughs> so, yeah, this comes up a little bit too easily. Uh, it's a little bit scary. Whatever double sided tape this is, it's not great. But I was kind of afraid it might pull up some of the printing with it. It's not. Um, I cannot see a change at all in the printing. So that is good. Come on. Oh, so close. This is so close. <laughs> it's just like struggling. I don't know. It's a it's a little bit of a fight, but it is coming off. 
actually, ooh, don't see that, it tore itself in the middle. It's coming off a little bit easier than I thought it might. Um, but it is taking some effort. I don't know how much of this I'll leave on the tape, and you all want to see the whole wrestling match here. Come on down. It's good to have nails with this. It helps you get up under that tape. Okay. And we're free. Woo ha There's a really sticky ball of tape going in the trash. No way to use that. Tablecloth is all over the place. And here, now I have the bank. I'm sorry. Here, now I have the blank bare canvas. It's a little bit sticky. There's a little bit of residue left here and there. So I am going to take it and wipe it down. And then we will get the diamond dots glue and a brush. Okay, we're back and the canvas is prepped. Um, my cat tried to come and sleep on it, so hopefully there's no cat hair. I didn't see any. Um, I have never done this before, so disclaimer. This is all new and experimental, and so you're going on this journey with me. So what I'm going to do is probably put this on in layers. Um, it says you need a 3 millimeter layer, and that's quite a lot. I don't know if I'm going to go that thick. I kind of feel like they're... Um, advising that because they sell the product <laughs> so I don't mind going over it a bit I mean when you get them from the stores there's a little bit of overlap so I'm not going to be too careful about going over the edge because it's not a huge deal if I do um, I'm using a sponge brush because I don't want there to be the drag marks you get with a regular paintbrush I just feel like that might, um, I wouldn't leave an impression, but you know, every chance for the jewels to sit flat, essentially. I want to give that every opportunity. So this says it is set when it is clear, and um, it should be tacky like a poured glue canvas. So I actually think, even though that looked like maybe it was going to be too little, that was plenty. And, um, yes, this, this I think was the best way to apply this, to just kind of pour it on the canvas and then brush it on with a sponge brush. I really hope this is water soluble, otherwise I will have to invest in more sponge brushes. And probably it would have behooved me to really make sure this canvas was flat because you can see there are dips from being rolled up and traveling. I, I mean, it's not anything that won't flatten out, but just kind of want to make sure that I don't get extra settling into those places because we want this to be applied as evenly as possible. So, um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely do at least two coats. I might do three. I don't know how I can tell how thick it is. I mean, <laughs> three millimeters, gosh. That would be like sitting up off the canvas, I feel like. But, just trying to even out some of these places where I think it's kind of settled a bit. So, first piece of advice, seems obvious, but after pulling that um, tape off and kind of fighting with that, I really just didn't think of it, and that is, uh, just flatten out your canvas. So, I think some of the spaces are already drying and clearing, I don't think this takes a long time. Um, this is something I do want to keep my cats away from. So I'm going to get um, like a clear plastic box and set this, set it on top of this just so they don't have access to it, they can't walk on it. They wouldn't want to once they touch it, but they might accidentally step on it with their paws. 
I mean, Jenna, I don't know about your cats. My cats don't like to step on sticky things. <laughs> so. Okay, that's our first coat. We're going to let that dry, and I will keep track of how long that takes to become completely clear. As, um, as suggested, it's, it's 4.50 now, so I'll let you know in what time I come back. I think it's completely clear. It still seems like it's trying to settle into these folds a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Alright. Okay, I could do that all day. Okay. Okay, we are going to time this, and I'll be back. So here's the plastic box I set over it, and it's just big enough. It does clear the sides of the painting. And yep, there's a giant crack in the top. But these boxes have been useful to keep cats away from stuff. I was um, growing some tomato seedlings uh, at the beginning of a... Well, the growing season back in the spring. And uh, this allowed them to breathe, and the cats didn't mess with them. My cat likes to chew on <laughs> any little plants so she, she can get her mouth on, if they're small. She doesn't bother the big ones. Um, but to give my tomato seedlings a chance, I covered them with this. They can still get sunshine, and they still get air, and the cats can't get in there. So, yeah, we saved our broken plastic box because I've actually used it a few times. So, um, if it comes a time where they don't come useful, we'll throw them out. But right now, they're good for guarding my craft projects. So, I also use them when um, I seal something, if it fits under here. If it's bigger than that, obviously this isn't going to work, but um, yeah, these are good for kind of keeping cats at bay, um, but if you don't want bugs or something to fly in there, I would cover over this with maybe a tea towel, and it would still breathe and get air um, and be protected. So anyway, that's my temporary sheltering solution, and now we still wait. It's not quite dry, although it is getting clearer already so I have a feeling it doesn't take too awful long but I'll let you know how long this takes to become completely clear just a quick check-in I started this at 450 it's now approximately 530 most of it is dry but there's still some pockets you can see it's still milky there and here so I'm gonna leave it for another 15 or 20 minutes and hopefully I can get another coat on it um, I have a birthday dinner to go to. It's for me, yay! Um, but I'm having a birthday with just a couple family members and it's not a large gathering at all because we're not into that. And we don't hug and stuff right now, which is really get my mom down, but um, that's how you have to roll during a pandemic. But um, yeah, so um, I really kind of wanted to iron this and get a second coat on. I'm hoping I can still kind of squeeze that in before I have to leave in a little while. But it, it is starting to feel like a poured glue canvas in the places where it is dry. And now I've messed up the shininess where I touched it with my fingers, but that's okay. It's still sticky. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with how this is coming along. I would definitely want probably two, at least two more coats. So I can kind of maybe see where they're saying three millimeter coat, but... I mean, right now, this is going to be a fraction of a millimeter. Mm, so I don't know if you can see these directions. Um, I'll have to find something. Well, I don't have to find something. <laughs> um, apply a thick coat three millimeters. Okay, so for reference, the resin round beads are 2.8 millimeters. So that's less than three millimeters. Um, so you're talking about the coat of glue would be like thicker than a, the width of a resin drill. I think that's a typo. Maybe they meant 0.3 millimeters. I just, I can't imagine like your glue would be sitting up off your canvas like a piece of nanotape. <laughs> so anyway, I am definitely going to cover this with a few more layers and I'm happy so far with the way that it's going. So, I will check in with this again in a little while. Alright, it's actually been... Ooh. Okay, it's, it's been about 20 minutes. It's been a little bit over 20 minutes. I got 
caught up prepping asparagus for ducks. Um, the ends of asparagus that we don't want to eat, we chop up into bite-sized pieces for ducks. They love it. They love your vegetable cast-offs. If you have vegetable cuttings, like broccoli stems, uh, ends of asparagus, anything like that, bits of pep uh, green peppers, sweet peppers, um, ducks of the park would love those. Don't take them bread. They don't have nutritional value for ducks. So that's my PSA of the day. So this is ready. I'm going to put actually this parchment back on and uh, take it to be ironed to kind of get those creases out. You can, you can kind of see in here it's not quite that sticky yet, but uh, why doesn't this match up? This is what came with this. Okay. It definitely, it definitely needs more stickiness, so um, I'm just putting this on as a protective layer. I'm going to turn it over onto the ironing board and iron it from the back with a tea towel over it. So, And my cat is helping to shake the whole table. Okay. So I will be back momentarily. Let's turn it over so we can compare the back. So now you see the ridges in the back and we'll see how flat it gets with the iron. Okay, so I ironed it on a low setting. You want it not on steam. Um, this was between polyester and wool. And most of these canvases are probably a polyester type of fabric. So if you have it higher than that, you can potentially melt the canvas. On top of which, you don't want to affect your glue. Um, so you can see it looks unaffected. And now it's laying perfectly flat. And I don't really have those um, valleys for the glue to settle into. So I'm going to get my sponge brush and put on another coat of glue. I rinsed it briefly after using it last time and, and just squeezed out as much water as possible. So it's pretty much dry. It's got a little bit of dampness in it, but I don't think it'll affect it. Okay, so like last time, I'm just going to cover the canvas. And I think I'd rather go for kind of several thinner layers. And to put one thick layer on and then you can be sure they're on there evenly and that they dry properly um, so this does stay tacky after it's dried I mean that's the it's supposed to be like poured glue where it, it kind of sits but it's still tacky and uh, you can put your drills on it so when this when I get all the layers on um, we will do a drilling test I will put some of the drills on here to test out this glue method. So this is, does take, you know, a little bit of time. It's not hard work. It's just something you have to do and then wait for it to dry and put on more layers. And I understand some people wouldn't want to do that. Um, to save this canvas, it was worth it to me. This was no longer available on, with the seller I got it from. Dylan's Cabin. It is still on the website, it's just listed as currently unavailable. So no telling when I'd get it again. And for the time I'd been waiting on getting another one, it was just worth it to me to try and fix it. Because I already had the, the stuff as well. Um, I ordered some AB drills from the Diamond Dots Freestyle from Joann's. And in order to get free shipping, um, I mean, I wanted some of the Diamond Dots glue, but I wound up ordering six bottles because I just kept throwing bottles of glue in because I figured, you know what, I can probably always use that. And I'm probably going to try this. I have a bigger canvas that has a lot of rivers in it. And so, yeah, I could cut and press out all those rivers, but I may try um, doing this because one thing I found is sometimes you think you've pressed a river out and it'll kind of pop back up later on. So um, that is my concern with pressing out the rivers. Is sometimes I feel like they don't stay pressed out. Has that ever happened to you? Have you pressed out a river and put drills down and found it's kind of reinflated later on? Well, let me know. Okay, so I think this is about as even I, as I can get it. And it's much better now that I pressed out the, uh, the waves in the back. And it wasn't even really creased, but it did have the fold wave, so I think that's that's pretty even. I mean, you can sit here all day trying to get it perfect, but um, 
I think that's a really good second coat. I made sure to get to all the corners. I'm overlapping a little bit, but um, I'm not concerned about that. I mean, you can always put washi tape down the side, you can come down and kind of get it off, or you can, even after you brush it on, you could come out and wipe excess off the edge. So, all right, this has, the second coat has been applied. Um, I'll be going to dinner in a little while, so it'll, it'll be more than an hour definitely before I check on this. It'll be a few hours. But I think the more coats you put on, it's probably better to leave a bit longer drying time in between. The first one took almost an hour to cure completely. Well, no. Um, 4.50? Okay, yeah. It, it was about an hour by the time I put the second coat on. So, um, something to think about. The second coat, I probably want to leave for at least two hours. The third coat, I probably want to leave for at least three hours. Um, and we'll kind of finger test this stickiness um, with each subsequent coat once it's dry. The first coat, it was sticky. You probably hold drills on there, but it wasn't very sticky. I feel like if you held it up, they might kind of fall off or they wouldn't stay very long. So definitely multiple coats. But we'll come back and... But... So, once this second coat is dry, we'll do a sticky test and put on a third coat. Uh, for sure, I, I really doubt that I would be happy with just two coats because it is going on thin. And I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see. Sorry, let me get up and see if you can see how much I've used. It's about down to here. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it at this angle. So it was full and now it's down to here. So I imagine I wouldn't use much more than half a bottle to do this whole canvas. Now if you had a big canvas, you'd probably use a whole bottle. Uh, but not a bad deal. For it's, it's only a few bucks for the bottle, so um, definitely worth trying out. We'll be back. Okay, so it's actually been about six hours. Um, it probably didn't need that long, but that's how long dinner took. <laughs> and we definitely have an increase in stickiness. Um, I would feel a lot more confident putting drills on it now, but I'm going to do a third layer and let it sit overnight. So it's nearly midnight here and this will just sit for a good seven or eight hours. So here we go again. Super easy to spread on, but now my sponge, if it doesn't have enough of the wet glue on it is wanting to stick, which is a good sign. Spread it nice and evenly. Good, my cat has come to help. That'll help. No, no, don't chase the sponge. It's not a cat toy. And don't be afraid of going over the edge because they do that at the factory anyway. You'd rather have a little bit over the edge than not have sticky where that drill is. But this glue is also good for using on individual drills. Or if you had a small area of a canvas that had become not sticky for some reason. Um, or like you had a pucker. Um, so sometimes canvases come and they're puckered. And the um, double-sided tape is kind of holding that pucker together and you have to cut it. Well, once you cut that double-sided tape to release the pucker, you're going to have an area with no adhesive. And so you could definitely take a small paintbrush and paint that area with some of this Diamond Dots glue or um, just use it on individual drills. I had to put a few drills back on a painting and I just got a toothpick and dabbed it in this glue and dab the back of the drill. I mean, you wouldn't want to have to do it for a lot of drills, but it works for a handful. So, there we go. There's a third layer. I feel put just a little bit more over here. I feel there's more on the other side. Um, I feel really good about how this is coming along. And I think this last layer is going to do it. Um, I'm <laughs> it's definitely not three millimeters thick. I'm going to say that much. I'm not sure what they're thinking with that. Um, again, the round drills are 2.8 millimeters wide, so you're talking about the height of a round drill is how thick 
they're saying this should be. So I really think this is a misprint. But um, I think this third layer is going to be great. So we're going to cover it back up for the night and let it dry overnight. And after this third layer, I think I'm going to try putting a few drills on to see how it goes. So we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it has uh, been curing overnight, which it didn't really need to go that long, but that's just how my schedule plan panned out. Um, you can see it's beautiful and clear and flat. It's pretty sticky, um, so I'm quite satisfied with that. And I'm going to try drilling it. Um, I would go up to as many as five coats, but honestly, I'm not sure that it needs it. Um, my fear is that this is not going to stick as well because it's just so unsticky. I mean, it's supposed to be. Okay, actually, you know what? That's pretty good. Now that I've got three layers down, when I had just one, it was kind of peeling up at the edge. Yeah. And it right up at the edge because if there's some sticky edge left over, that's kind of okay. Can and we cut off later anyway. Oh my goodness, I got it. Yay, it just took precise alignment. So that's sticking on there pretty good. Um, I'm confident about the stickiness of the diamond dots glue and I am going to pick one of these colors and start drilling um, so we can see how well they stick. Okay, I've decided to work with the letter L, the symbol on here, and this is number two on the schematic, and that's DMC number 160. And um, usually I work with handmade pens because they feel a bit better, and I like nano tape and blue tack because it lasts longer, but that's in my craft room, and this came with the kit, so I'm just starting with a standard pen and wax, and there's uh, there's nothing wrong with these, just the other ones last longer. Bit of wax squishing out. So this is sticking just fine. Um, it seems like a normal canvas. I think if you handed this to someone, they would not know it's not poured glue except for obviously I've gotten fuzzies on the side because I couldn't put down washi tape while I was brushing on the diamond dots glue. So. Um, when I pull this out and work in earnest on it, um, I would put washi tape down the sides to stop getting that fuzz on it. But ultimately, it doesn't matter because like when I display it, this will either be behind a frame, painted, or cut off altogether. So um, I'm not too worried about the fact that the sides are gathering fuzz. And some of this canvas is fairly dark, but... Um, I'm working on this light section, so I don't really need my light pad right now. Also, I will say I like starting on the right upper corner and um, kind of working down because you can push it up and then come back. And so I kind of I don't I don't know how everyone likes to do theirs. That's how I like to do mine. And then your hand is resting um, on the drill part instead of sticky part. So if I go left to right, sorry about that. I ran out of space on the card. So. Actually, usually I start like right in the right hand corner, but I just wanted to pick one color and I should have gone with question marks here. Um, but the L's are, are sticking good. Uh, I'm happy with the amount of glue that's on here. It feels sufficient. I have my, my table runner I'm getting in the way here. Okay, there we go. Oh, now I'm on this. Okay. Let me see if I can move my table runner. Okay. Now it's not for me. It was for me a bump under the edge. <laughs> so it's hard to push your drills down straight when it's not on a flat surface, funnily enough. But yeah, this glue was holding strong. Um, I have no qualms about these drills coming off later. They're on there just like this was be board glue, which is essentially what it is, except it was brushed on instead of board. And I think this would work quite well. If I had a bigger canvas, I would probably definitely do five layers, or if you're really worried about it, I would I would go ahead and do five layers. This is three layers, and um, this works. So 
I'm quite happy to find a solution if you get a canvas that has bad double-sided tape. Some of the double-sided tape is pretty good and some of it's really cheap. Um, but I say if you don't have a problem, pull it off and paint it with diamond dots glue. Um, it's a little bit more time investment and money, you know, if you don't already own the diamond dots glue. But it works really well. And then you get this nice smooth surface and you don't have to worry about pushing down rivers and you don't have to worry about the rivers possibly coming back. I feel like my drills are really in place and they're not going to drift. Um, in fact, um, I know I ordered a canvas from Shop Any Deals that is um, poured glue, but the first poured glue canvas I worked on from them, it felt like it got less sticky over time. So if you just feel not confident about the level of stickiness, brush a few coats of this onto your canvas and it will just add a layer. I mean, there's no reason this couldn't go over other poured glue. So um, yeah, I think this is a great product. I hope it stays on the market for a while, a long while, because it works really well. Um, they're selling it, you know, so you can do your own canvas. They sell a graded canvas fabric and then you can print onto that fabric. And some of them already have poured glue or you can get non-sticky canvas fabric. Print out your own pattern onto there and then paint it with the Diamond Dots poured glue paint. But it's also good for touching up areas that have lost their stickiness for whatever reason. Um, so I highly recommend it. This was a great fix for this canvas. This canvas is beautiful now. It's just like the other poured glue canvases that came from this company. So I'm really happy. I hope this helps anyone who is having double-sided tape canvas problems or maybe you are dubious about ordering from companies that only sell double-sided tape canvases. Um, now you can get those pictures you think are beautiful but you don't want to deal with the double-sided tape. Um, of course, this does take a little bit of dealing. The only other thing I would say is um, I probably should have done it for this um, picture, but for definitely anything larger, I would like score the tape. Um, this I probably should have scored it at least in half, but I'm going to score sections of tape so then you're not fighting with this giant um, piece of tape that is sticking back on itself and, and it actually made it a little bit harder on this and I realized later I should have cut it in half and tried to pull off half at a time and that would have made my life a little bit easier but it still worked out so that's my advice um, pull up that corner score your tape but don't score through the canvas just score the tape pull up that corner and peel it off in sections and then get to get to painting and I really liked the sponge brush to paint that on and I'm pretty sure it's water soluble um, so if you get something on there like cat hair or a piece of paper that happens to get stuck and it takes away the stickiness just brush some more onto that area because I'm not sure you could wash that off very well I have a stray drill you can go down over here here you go um, yeah I would I feel like water might make this not sticky but no problem, you could just paint a little bit over whatever area didn't get sticky. And this definitely gave it a nice, smooth, um, even coating. So that's my advice. I hope this helps anyone who has problem canvases. It definitely helped me with mine. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, post them below. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you'll join me for more upcoming videos. I'll have unboxings, um, some more demonstrations, and possibly... Uh, fixing ideas, problem fixing ideas, and whipping chats. So keep on sparkling.